What is up, my Gwenquistadors? This is Gun Gwenta Gear, and uh, I'm gonna click on the right one of these, and we're gonna get into this. There we go. All right, it's patch notes. Where are we on now? Like 10.11, which is kind of convenient that these now line up with the months of the year. I, I appreciate that. Um, so let's just jump in uh, right away. Burza and Jean uh, or Jean have already Jean. <laughs> uh Jean Grey. Uh Borza and John have already gone Jean have already gone on and uh uh given their developer update. I uh, haven't I kind of ignored those lately, if I'm being honest. They tend to focus on specific mechanics and uh, that destroys my creativity. So I am unbound by their strictures. Um so new journeys returning R2 Regis and Dana line and make a comeback. Contracts, unlock even more rewards by playing matches with your favorite vanities. Uh, all this is just kind of restarted. So, all right, going further down the chain. So, Geralt Igni default, po default power limit changed from 35 to 40. Initiative power changed from 20 to 25. So, just a little bit of a nerf there. Uh, deploy melee, reset the power of all units on a row. Adrenaline 2, reset the po power of all units on an allied row instead. Ooh. This is a huge nerf. Uh, I don't love that Geralt is getting nerfed. I don't feel like Igni and Yurden were that much of an automatic inclusion as this treats them. And, like, shouldn't Geralt be one of the best cards in the game? Although, theoretically, Siri should get more play than Geralt, I guess, just from, you know, her powers. But, anyway. Uh, Ternalia, order ability spawn, change to spawn and play Red Riders. Devotion also spawn frost on your opponent's melee zero. Uh, melee and range froze equal the amounts lost during the last round transition. Um, I would have to go back and check and see uh, how this might change things. I don't actually remember exactly how this card works because it's pretty garbage in my opinion. You're forced to carry over massive frost value, um, which uh, requires you to have like either weird round control or wait to drop all the frost till like the very last play which makes it so they're not taking all the damage from the frost, which makes it harder to maintain uh, maintain having dominance. So the, for me, this Tiernalia just never made much sense with the deck. We'll see. Patch Battle Fury, change two. Spawn Deafening Siren on enemy row and damage by one, three charges. Once all charges are used up, spawn and play Arnulf the Patricide. All right, this I actually really like this. This is cool. That way, if you don't need all of the all the things, you don't need it right away, and you can save Arniel for later. I'm we're gonna be trying this one out. Reckless flurry damage change from three to four, charge from three to two. I think this is a good one. Being able to do nine damage off of three procs was too much. Eight damage off of two procs makes a little bit more sense, uh, and makes it a little less um, flexible. Arniel power change from twelve to thirteen. Uh, deployability change to spawn deafening siren on the opposite row and damage by one. So he's still playing for 12 points, but you do get that one bloodthirst and soaking up space on enemy row. You also can like choose which row. It just says on an enemy row. So I'm assuming you can choose which row to put this on, which means you could row block people like you could with rat swarm. That's pretty dope. Uh, that I this, this patch title fury is gonna is gonna make a little bit of a comeback this season. I think I, I'm predicting it now. So power change from 11 to 12. Uh, ability change to deploy melee summon a beast from your deck to the opposite row and infuse it with death wish. Then damage it by one for each damage enemy unit, each damaged enemy unit and gain immunity. Okay, so he doesn't have immunity. He has to get off deploy, so you can't get it off of Sigurd Rifas as easily, which makes sense. But you could off of Kusia. Although I don't, th I think he is. Um, I I think that he he is eleven provisions, so I don't think you can play him off Kakusia. So Sigurdrifas just doesn't give him immunity, which is fine. Still, still good value. Uh, it is off deploy though, so you're just you're bringing him back for the point value, not for he doesn't get the order ability anymore. Northern Realms Kennet and Gar provisions changed from nine to seven. This is a good change. They were garbage. Hunter's provision changed from 5 to 6 and scouts from 4 to 5. Honestly, that makes sense. Uh, they were pretty broken. <laughs> um, go ahead tell. Gorilla Tactics damage change from 2 to 1. Boost change from 2 to 3. So more boost, less damage. I kind of like that. Uh, frog mating season. 
Provision change from nine to eight. This need to go down even lower. It's a cool card, or just kind of dumb. Melva Sharpshooter buffed a little bit. Fine. Shaping Nature. Each boost in vitality increased by one. That was necessary. Card has been garbage for a long time. Enchantress now has some symbiosis, which is good. Power change from four to three. Vitality change from three to four. And armor change from three to four. So more of a tech card here with a little lower value, uh, making it harder for her to stick. I like that. Pond Keeper changed from five to four. Uh, these these won't make this deck playable, but nice changes. Nilfgaard Imprisonment changed from 15 to 14. Um, sure. Milton de Perak Perrin. Boost changed from 4 to 3. Trehern, uh Power changed from 3 to 5. Provision changed from 6 to 8. Alba Pikeman, 3 to 4. Spotter, 5 to 6. Changed ability. Lose all armor. This I don't know why they didn't do this originally. This was stupid that it kept like massive armor and got huge boosts, so it made it super hard to do dominance. With uh, and this is why I think that a big reason uh, Frosty Elves never got played for monsters, just because spotters made it impossible. And there's so much more value in the spotter deck, and you could just spawn as many of them as you wanted with uh, a whole bunch of Nilfgaard trickery. Syndicate Siguru of Mastermind changed for twelve to thirteen. Why would you do that? You could. We didn't even get to play with the fecking deck last season. Just fix the deck first. This is a garbage patch. These are, and game fixes, they did nothing. They changed nothing except for make some tweaks to the meta. This is trash. This is one of the worst patches they've done in a hot minute. And we're about to head into, keep in mind, good friends, we're about to head into January where, where CDPR says, I don't know. I forgot that holiday season was coming and we decided not to do anything. Rut row! Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Um, save your game. You want us to keep playing this? Show us that you care. Let me know, think what you, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Until next time, good luck out there. And if you're not playing Gwent, play something else. Bye for now.